Hello, welcome back to the Rusty Mass channel. Welcome to another percentage video. This is going to probably be the last one for the time being though. So in this video, we are going to increase and decrease percentages. So stay tuned for that one. And again, no calculators, okay? We're going to be not using one of these. We're gonna be using the old noggin. Remember, this is for year seven. So I'm keeping it nice and simple. If you want to watch a more challenging video on percentages, click on the pop-up banner where you're gonna see me doing a lesson for year nine, much older kids this time, and showing them how to calculate percentages using a single multiplier. So that is gonna be a really cool video. Anyway, if you are new here, please subscribe below. Please hit that notification bell. Do all those lovely things because for you, it's just a click. But for me, it goes into the algorithm and then hopefully YouTube might recognize that, you know, man's got skills in it. So click that notification bell for me, please. And make sure you subscribe as well. Comments are always welcome. Bring them on. Let's see what we get going. Anyway, without further ado, we got to increase and decrease percentages. I'll see you in a lesson. So what does it mean to increase or decrease a um, by a given percent? It means that you need to find that percentage and add it on to increase. So I'm going to say when you find a percentage, you add on for this one here. And then for decrease, um, you subtract to take that off when you're decreasing in percentages. OK, it's really important that we get that going. All right, cool. Let's go into doing a couple of questions here. So I've got 20% and I want to increase it by 10%. The first thing I will need to do, well, is to find what 10% of 20 is. So 10% is equal to 20 divided by 10, which is going to be two pounds. Now, if you don't know how to increase, oh, sorry, if you don't know how to find a percentage, click on the pop-up banner and have a look at my video on finding percentage of an amount. All right, cool, let's go. So that's two pound. So therefore, to increase 20 by 10%, we take the 20 pounds, we add the two pounds to it, and that answer is going to be 22 pounds. And literally, it is that simple. All right, let's separate these questions a little bit so that they're not close to each other. All right. Now we've got that done, let's move on to the next one. So now we need to increase 50 pounds by 15%. So that means I need to find 15% of 50 pounds and then add that on. Let's change color and just blitz through this now. So to find 15%, I'm going to find 10% first. So that's going to be 50 divided by 10, which is going to be five, five pounds. Let's actually say that that's five pounds in case somebody gets confused. That's five pounds there. And then to find the extra 5% because 15% is made up of 10% plus 5%. So to find the extra 5%, what we're going to do is divide the 10% by 2. So we're going to say 15 divided, sorry, I beg your pardon, 5% divided by 2, which is going to be £2.50. All right. So that means that to now increase by 15 percent, we will take the 50 pounds and then we will add seven pound 50 to it. Where did I get the seven pound 50 from? Well, 15 percent is five pounds plus two pound 50. That's seven pound 50. And so the answer to this now is going to be 57 pounds and 50 pence there. And that's how you increase by a given percent. Again, we are not using a calculator. We're doing this as mental work. Um, if you want to see videos where I will use a calculator and the questions are more challenging and quicker, click on the pop-up banner to go and watch my video on my year nine number section where we find percentage increase and decrease. Now, what about this matter of decreasing percentages? So as you may notice, I have sort of cheated in order um, to be a bit more efficient. So I've kept the questions pretty much the same. 
So the only difference is decrease actually means to subtract. So we talked about that at the beginning, beginning of this video. All we got to do is find 10% of 20 and then take it away. Well, I've already found 10% of 20, it's two pounds. So decrease 20, 20 pounds by 10% means 20 take away two, and that's going to be 18 pounds. Just the same with the question below. To decrease 50 pounds by 15%, just take away that seven pound 50 that we had there, and we're going to get 42 pounds and 50 pence. And just like that, we are finished. So what have we learned today? Well, bear in mind, increasing and decreasing percentages basically means find the percentage you want. And then when you finish finding it, add it on to increase percentage, but take it away to decrease the percentage. And that is it. And that brings us to the end of this very short video on percentage increase and decrease. Thank you for watching that video. I hope you have learned something new. If you have, please give this video a like. Please also make sure that you have subscribed below and you've hit that notification bell so you do not miss another upload. The Rusty Matt channel appreciates your contribution. Anyway, until I see you on the next one. Peace.